Hello friends, in this uh, video I will show you the inside and the parts of this radio and uh, if you have a radio like this I will show you how you can repair because it has a design problem. Let's begin. First of all let me show you this device. It's a remake after an old radio, it's fine quality, it has a digital menu, it, it looks vintage. This is the speaker. It's a high quality speaker. This is the on off button. This is the wires from the speaker. And this is from the display. Now let's talk about this electronic part. I received this from a friend of mine. And these two capacitors were exploded. You can see here. These were the exploded capacitors. All the parts are here. And these uh, original capacitors was uh, was 220 microfarads, 10 volts. Initially, I wanted to replace this capacitor with the same value but I presume that is a problem, another problem on this PCB. And I check all the power rails. And after I checked all the power rails, I made this schematic. This is the schematic only of the 12 volts power rail. So this is the 12 volts uh, input. Here we have first uh, P-channel MOSFET who is uh, turned on and off by this power button. In this we have another P-channel MOSFET who is uh, turned on and off by the standby button. And after this uh, second MOSFET, we have these two capacitors. C228 and C230. And here it's a coil. And after that, this is also uh, 12 volts. In this point we have 12 volts input and 5 volts output. The main problem is uh, these two capacitors initially were, were uh, 220 microfarads and at 10 volts. But here we have 12 volts and uh, that's why this uh, capacitor exploded and if you if you have a radio like this please uh, take it all to parts and check these two capacitors if they are 10 volts like then original you have to replace it with uh, 16 volts I replaced this original capacitor with this one at uh, 16 volts because uh, 10 volts is too low if uh, here we apply 12 volts. And I measured the voltage here and it's tw 12 volts. And that's why it's mandatory to replace with 16 volts because otherwise your device also will fault. Now let's put everything together and make some tests to see how it works.
inside you can see the rest of explode capacitor. It doesn't have any screws, you just have to press this back plate. I will use uh, 12 volts from my power supply and I put 1 amp limit. Let's turn this power on. Heinzelmann. Now it should work. It's not connected to the internet. Let's connect to FM. Tilde din Norvegia, iar pe locul 3 s-a clasat francezul Alexi Panturo. Următoarea cursă la campionatul mondial de schi alpin, sâmbătă coborârea feminină. It seems now it's working perfect. If you have uh, any question, please put it in a comment. And if you made it so far, please give a big like and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye!